Hi, in this video, we're going to solve this quadratic equation. We have 2x squared minus 5x plus 3, and all of that is equal to 0. So to solve this, we're first going to uh, think about the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula gives you the solutions to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And this formula works as long as a is not equal to 0. And so in our particular example, we can start by identifying a, b, and c. So a here is going to be 2 just by matching. It's the coefficient of x squared. So a is 2. b is negative 5, again, just via matching. So b is equal to negative 5. And c is the constant term. So c, again, is 3, again, just via matching. And so the formula for the quadratic uh, equation, the solutions, uh, is given by x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of, and then inside the square root we have b squared minus 4ac. And all of this is being divided by 2 times a. So this is equal to, so here we have a negative 5 is already a negative, so it's going to be a 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So again, that's negative 5. So you square that, you get 25 minus 4. a is 2, so 4 times 2, and c is 3. And all of this is being divided by uh, 2a, so 2 times 2. So if we keep going here, we get x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of. Uh, looks like we get 25 and then 8 times 3, right? 4 times 2 is 8. So you get 8 times 3, which is 24. So we get 25 minus 24, uh, which is 1, over 2 times 2, which is 4. So this is 5 plus or minus 1 over 4. So now what we, we can do is we can break it up because we can actually compute these different cases. We can actually figure out a simplified version of the number. So let's do that. Let's take the plus case first. So x is equal to 5 plus 1 over 4, which is equal to 6 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 2. So x equals 3 over 2. That's going to be... Uh, one of our answers. The other answer will be x equals 5 minus 1 over 4. Right now we're taking the minus case. So that's 4 over 4, uh, which is equal to 1. So the other answer is going to be uh, x equals 1. So these are the two solutions to this quadratic equation. Um, this is a good example because when you get to this point here, you can't stop. You can keep going because you have whole numbers and you can add them. Uh, whereas a lot of times when you get to this step, you can't really keep going because you have roots and stuff. So hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully you have learned some mathematics. Good luck to you.